Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day Gamers, and welcome. So today I'm messing around with this little ship. Inside here we have the new weapon that I've been working on, and we're ready to test it out over this desert plain area. So we've got the acceleration up, not too bad. Let's hit one and release it. We should see a little bit of a parachute pop out the back, and the actual pod splits in two. So you can see what we've actually got going on here is the parachute on the first pod has started to deploy. Then five seconds later, the parachute on the second pod will actually start to deploy. That is the gun barrel pod, and that is the defensive pod to stop fighters and interceptors. Now what you're probably wondering is what's this used for? Well, you can see we've actually got the weapons on that part. And if we actually activate this small ship grid, we access the remote control, and we hit the control key. Well, we can actually begin engaging targets on the ground with this thing. If I hit two on that, you can see as we can aim these cameras down, we can actually fire at targets on the ground and engage them. We've got quite a wide access of view as well, so we can fire at targets over there and targets below us as well. We can even target our own gun pod if we want to. So let's actually switch back to the F8 camera so we can see that from a third person sort of perspective. So you can see the rounds going down towards the ground. And the shells dropping out as well we can also rotate that around so if i do that you can see how we've got so much view as we're hovering down we can fire at multiple targets all over the place shells are dropping out the side we've got a limited bit of time but i guess we could slow it even further by actually using different oh, or even more parachutes so let's just skip back to that and we'll use this little last little bit of time we've got here to engage uh, maybe one or two more targets so if we fire over there so you can imagine this thing going down spinning around and shooting at various targets and when it's on the ground it's not over because basically you've got yourself like a nice little rotating turret that you can rotate around an artillery papaya so if we fire one off in that direction you can actually see the shell casings going off over into the sky got a little bit of an explosion up there you can fire some off into that hill direction as well. So you could drop this quite close to an enemy outpost. Well, that, that was kind of the thought of it. You drop this close to an enemy outpost, you take control of it, and then you just start laying waste to the outpost itself. But that's not all. That is not all. Aaron does not build simplistic, overly complicated weapons that are that simplistic. So the second part is this little turret that you've seen drop to the ground. The guns are not shooting at anything because there's nothing in the radius. These little protection things shoot engineers who are trying to get up close to it. Fighters that are trying to engage this little thing. So in a total little package, we've got this really quite compact drop pod weapon that is completely not functional at all. But it's, it's crazy. It's mad. And that's what I love in Space Engineers weapons. So let's do that one more time. Take control of that. So even though it's on the ground like this, the gyroscopes give us enough control where we can start artillery and targets. So let's um, just accelerate our camera if we can. And we can aim up over at that mountain deck area over there. Fire another round over at that. See if that lands somewhere in the mountains. There we go. <laughs> what a cheesy doodle weapon. Oh, I love this thing. Just a, It was just like a five or six minute build. But I've realized the amount of fun and the carnage that you could have when you drop this on somebody. Not just when it's coming down from the sky above. But when you're actually firing it on the ground itself as well. Now the final thing you're probably wondering is... What happens if it gets destroyed? We don't have all them parts wasted. Well, we've got two options. If you manage to take over the base, you can disassemble and do whatever you need to do and take all the parts back. Or else you can detonate this thing so the enemy don't get their hands on any of the parts or ammunition from them cannons. So that kind of solves that problem. Anyway, so for this final talk. test, what I want to do is see if we can actually drop this munition on top of that teeny outpost over there. So we're going to gather a little bit of speed. We're going to make sure everything's safe in the back there. We've got the two turrets. I don't want to drop it directly on it because I feel that's a little bit cheating. But I want to drop it from an altitude where I feel like the weapons on the base wouldn't engage me from. Just to see how it feels. So I think that's about right. We'll drop it in three, two, one. Released. See if that actually goes out. Okay, it's come out without an actual hitch at all. So let's go back to our camera. Have a look at this separation. Okay, so the two parts have separated already. Now we're just waiting on the shoots. So shoots are deploying. Second part has deployed. Beautiful. Need to make sure that second shoot's deployed. Perfect. Gun pods have deployed. Very nice indeed. We can actually take control of this now and see if we can get ourselves onto any of them weapons. So remote control, we've got to go through this tedious process. Control. And once we've got that on control, we can actually add the weapons. So quick add the weapons to the tab and then add the cameras to the tab. 
so view so let's hit that on one let's see if we can actually aim this thing or see the base through the camera so there we go where we've actually got the base zoomed in so let's fire a little few rounds okay so i think we managed to hit one of the targets we've got a little ship there let's aim at that one and see if we can hit that okay i don't know looks like we impacted around the ship let's hit try aiming for that little hut there okay fired that round so there's a little bit of recoil that's causing some problems we'll fire once again at that hut see if we can hit that one and we've also got the drop of the cannons to take consideration you can see our secondary pod so if i just go back into spectator camera for the moment our secondary pod is actually engaging some of the huts let's see if we can access our gun pod one more time so back into the gun pod we'll fire that over see what we can do oh beautiful shot let's fire that one more time see if we can drop that into there and there we go, we fired a secondary shot and absolutely destroyed that house, eventually split it in two. So this weapon, not super functional, but damn fun. Oh, it's actually managed to stand up on all the gun barrels. Let's um, see if we can actually continue engaging. So if this little base or outpost didn't actually have any weapons defending it, we could just continue firing our cannons at it, like so. Let's access our camera once again. And the space engineers there would be running around trying to shoot this thing. As we blow their little huts up, that turret's engaging them as well. So as they're running around, they're just being peppered with more and more lead. Oh, very nice. Let's um, fire one more volley and we'll just do a quick battle damage assessment of the place. So we'll aim that a little bit higher up and we'll try to mortar it over to that ship. There we go, took off the cockpit of that ship this time. So there we go. I really need to come up with a weapon, sort of name for this thing. It's not super functional, but as you can tell, it's fun and devastating to some extent. Anyway, make sure you drop a like on this video, it's going to really help. And I'd love to hear some of your feedback and maybe some possible alterations to this weapon. God, I've got a lot of shells to collect up and that machine gun's still going on. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.